Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, we're going to do the... What is it called? Nothing but our lives challenge. Which means we're only going to take the family. On the Fat Man Normal difficulty. Because why not? Nothing but our lives. Uh, was suggested by uh, Q and B Combs. Whatever that name stands for. But... Yeah, that's, that's the idea. We're just going to grab our family, nothing else. Not even food, not even water, and just see how long we're going to survive. I've been trying many different approaches, like a lot. Ooh, actually I want to look outside. I've never looked outside, never took a moment. It's like a really ugly fence there. Um, yeah, let's grab, let's grab the woman. Oh man, someone made burgers, and I'm so hungry. I could really go for a burger right now. And family cookout picture. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Some, you know, family pictures on the wall. Where's Timmy? Hey, Timmy. What are you doing there in the bathroom? Drawing a car. That's not how a car looks. God, you're always embarrassing me, Timmy. <sighs> Timmy. Everyone thinks you're creepy. I mean, he is a little bit creepy, isn't he? Is that a cow? What is on the wall there? Yeah, it's a really weird looking cow. And I wonder what kind of magazines are under the bed. I bet, I bet something naughty. It said 70 on it, so... Maybe Ted is into that. The gold 70 ladies women. Who knows? Alright. I can't jump in before, that's why I was just killing time here. And in we go at the last second. And it's just our family. I'm not gonna get an achievement for that. It's barely achievement worthy. But I am curious... How is this gonna turn out? It's probably gonna turn out really horrible. Uh, all right, all of us made into the shelter. We didn't bring any food at all, but hey, it could have been worse, right? There was enough time to grab everything, but we have something to get started with. Hope it's enough. Well, there's nothing. Like, there wasn't enough time to grab everything, but we have something to get started with. I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. So, um, pretty much, we're just gonna see how well Lady Luck, how how nice she's gonna be to me. All right, fun memories. Yeah, I would freak out if I was them already. I would really freak out. Anyway, I guess we're gonna send out Timmy. Everyone thinks Timmy is the best. The best person to go on a hunt. This looks so depressing if there's nothing in here at all. I'm still surprised that we have tables and a shelf and lights and whatnot. Even this little thing, but nobody bothered to put anything useful in here. All right, yes, yes, yes. No water right now. Timmy goes outside. <laughs> I don't even have to count who gets water. They're probably all going to die. Aren't they? At day six. Unless Timmy comes back tomorrow. Um, there isn't much we can miss when a single... Yes, let's look what behind the brick is. Maybe there's a can of tomato soup, which is not going to help us at all. It is day five. Yeah, it's a can of tomato soup. Yeah, they're gonna be dead tomorrow. They're going to be dead. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Yep. They're dying. I think they're all dead now. It was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked. Let the merry men enter. So we can take from the rich gift to the poor. I think we're dead now. It's pretty sure we're dead. Yes! Well, he gave us a radio. Isn't that amazing? Those merry folks were very kind. They noticed we didn't have a radio and offered us one. When we asked where they got it from, they said the 1%. Well, if they only gave us water, so we didn't die. Well, it's the XX century, so nobody expects the Inquisition to show up. They did, they showed up and decided our shelter would be a perfect place for their torture chamber. When we found out, we made the best efforts to put as many miles between them and us as possible. When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, yeah. We spent nine days? I think there went something wrong. Call the sheriff, day nine, evicted, thirst drove Mary Jane, Dolores died of this, that, everything happened on day nine? Don't get me wrong, I love day nine. But that was a weird bug. Anyway, that was the nothing but our lives challenge. Apparently we were driven away, I think we died. You know, judging from those skeletons. I think we're gonna try a regular attempt now. That was interesting. It totally did not work, so... It's not really a challenge, it's just... Hey, I give up. 
interesting to try it anyway. All right, let's start a new run. This time we're gonna grab everything, the whole family, the whole shebang. Everyone is invited to our bunker party. Mm, wonderful. All right, yeah, we're gonna start off furthest away. That's gonna be here. Timmy's on the left. Donald is on the right. All right, we're gonna grab you and I guess the gas mask because that kind of fits very well. All right, come here, you tuba, tuba playing woman or daughter or child, whatever. Pick, 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 pick your poison. I'll take this and I'll take another bottle. Oh, that's the, that's the book. That's the book that I really do should get. Uh, if I don't get it, what's the worst that could happen? Mary Jane turns into a mutant again. I wouldn't mind that at all. That does sound like a wonderful experience for the whole family. Turning into mutants. Oh, please kill it. Yes, I can take it. It only takes one slot. Very good. Okay, so I got the whole family. I still want the... I still want the Boy Scout book. Here, give me that. Worth it. Medikit, worth it. Ooh, food and water. Okay, there's an axe and the map. Oh, the map's on the back side. Ooh, okay. Give me the flashlight while we're at it. Give me the flashlight! Dad, you're the worst! You screw those all up! One, and... Oh, so close! So close, and that is what happens when you get too greedy. I was talking about that in the last episode. <sighs> last two episodes were yesterday. Because I accidentally released them on the same day. So, you know, some of you probably would have been happy about that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to start over again. Um, so, I was talking about that, all these fails. That was one, I got too greedy. Other than that, it was a really good run. It was amazing. It was... Glorious. It just failed. So, mm, what can you do? I wonder what else they're gonna add to the game. I mean, the game has been hugely successful, I personally think. Um, maybe, I don't know about financially, but it is has been a successful game, definitely. People are really liking this. I mean, I like it, and I wonder if we're gonna see more of that, like, I don't know, 60 seconds to, or 120 seconds, or, or whatever the proper named sequel would be. Uh, something along those lines. I haven't heard anything, or if they're planning uh, any expansions. Um, if anyone brings zombies into this game, I'm gonna be upset. That's definitely something I do not want to see. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with survival games and zombies. It's, it's a little bit overdone. I mean, a little bit over. It's completely overdone. So, uh, but I would love to see more mechanics in the game, like, um, I, I could imagine. Oh, come on. Like a scavenge mechanic. I just broke a horse. Some sort of scavenge mechanic. And I was talking on an, uh, about another idea on stream today. I was talking about a Fallout mod. How amazing would that be if you could find a Fallout shelter in a house and it turns out it's the Fallout shelter with Ted and his family. And they're all skeletons because I just keep dying. That would be a great Fallout mod. You can probably hear an upset bird back there screaming and chirping. Yeah, that is because he is upset. It's something, I don't know. Oops, I forgot the daughter. Wait, did I? Ha! Huh. Well. Hmm. <clears throat> My bad. I love that I even don't say anything about her. Well, it happens. What well, happens to the best of us? Means more for the rest. Uh, seven cans of soup. Hmm. Not too shabby. No playing cards, though. I would have loved to get some. Same with the flashlight. At least we do have a map and a fire axe. The fire axe is going to be really helpful when we want to play lumberjack again. Start a Korean lumberjacking. <laughs> I don't know why, but lumberjacking sounds really bad. Anyway, we're just going to skip for the first few days. Wonderful. Uh, she's confident she will survive outside. Timmy can do it. Should I send someone? Yeah, why not? Let's send the kid. Let's, let's, or just wait a bit. Mm, we do not have a mask. We might be lucky to get one with an event. Who knows? Definitely not gonna let the merry man in this time because I think I'm uh, like somewhere around the one percent now. Me and my capitalist shelter took it from the poor. Um, we're trying to best to remain calm. We can leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores has to drink, and Ted is thirty. I that might be 
I don't care. Good news, everyone. The government just announced I will be dropping crates. If only I had a gas mask. I could grab those crates and we would feast on the loot we would find. But no, nope, no, no such luck. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection. I agree. I agree. So, yeah, we don't, we don't need water, guys. I still think five days are really deadly. This is terrible. We can't sleep. I don't have a med kit. I can't give you drugs. Man, I would totally give you drugs. I mean, let's let's be completely honest about that. If you're in a situation like this, you just lost your whole house and everything you know, and society collapsed, I think it's fine to take some drugs to take the edge off. I think that's okay. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we try to get at least an hour or two of sleep. Not happening. Not happening. Okay, now it's time for some water. Would really hate to see you guys die. Um, I'm gonna prepare an expedition. Oh yeah, let's listen to the radio. Maybe, maybe the military. Then again, it kind of doesn't do much for me to have the military. All right, let's send Timmy. Maybe he's gonna find a med kit, and then he can heal himself. All right, who should go outside? Timmy should. Timmy should totally go outside. Ah, he's gonna be hungry when he comes back, and then he's gonna need several portions. Ah, well. What can you do? That stomach is rumbling. Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Me too. Crazy Dolores is scary Dolores. Like, really scary. Okay. Day 8. Wonderful. Yes, Wheatley, I agree. We played True for Dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Yes. Ah, uh, water, water. Yeah, day 10. Day 10, you're gonna get some water. Not before that. Oh, what's that trickling sound? Lovely. It's a flood. It's always a flood. Ah, uh, well. Let's grab the radio. I feel that's more useful. How does the map get wet? I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a flood. Well, that was lucky. I don't think so. I do not think a flood in your bunker is, a, is something you should consider lucky. Um, even if you survived it. What happens if it's more water next time? Anyway, she will not survive without uh, water any longer. She is rested. And Ted looks like he got one in his grave. A foot, that is. Uh, yes, we can st stay locked in. Yes, let's look about this. Okay. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible, in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. They made comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need is to make contact with the military. Here's the thing. You cannot really make contact with a radio. That's just not happening. We made contact, the military is out there, and they're coming for us. Well, you listened to them, you didn't really make contact, did you know? Ah, well. Uh, yes, it's time for water. I'm a little bit worried about Timmy still not being here. I mean, he's been out for like five days at this point, or like four. Um, yeah, let's keep listening. Please, Timmy, be back. Still not back. I think he's lost. I think he's not gonna come back. Something blew up inside the radio and the wretch thing caught fire. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. Well, this is this is the best run in a while, isn't it? All right. We're all good. We're all, all it's gonna be fine. Timmy should be dead at this point. He, unless he got water from somewhere else. Yeah, still no Timmy. I am not allowed I'm not allowed to start a new expedition. That means Timmy isn't dead yet. It means he's still out there. That's really odd. As we were about to start our book club discussion, on the only book we read, the phone book, we were interrupted by a rapid knocking on the door. We found that was, it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with water, food, medical supplies we could spare. Let's see. Uh, soup. Let's give them some food. We have plenty of food. They might be happy about that. Wow, Timmy is back? Timmy made it? Dude, you've been out like eight days. We've never seen anyone buy a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow, quite possibly actually, and thanking us for our gesture. They were eager to repair us, and one of their group offered us a map. They claimed it helped them to get here, so it brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised we will give it a try and wish them a safe journey. Yes, we got a map. 
Well, Timmy's back. That's amazing, Timmy. You survived for like eight days or seven. Came back from the waste and it's safe with us now. We ran into airdrop crates during our expedition. We should probably be thankful to President Fonda for organizing drops for the survivors, provided he's still the one in charge. Getting your country nuked during the terms doesn't seem sound like a good thing to put on your resume. Then also, chances are that you're going to be re-elected are really high, because you don't want to change horses mid-race in that situation. Happened before. Kind of, kind of, you know. A food drop. That's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate. No, tomato soup cans. Yay, two of them. Someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall. Therefore, all the balls were shattered. Anyway. Wait. What happened to the radio? It seems to be okay now, or is it... Wait. Give me a second. Is that... Yeah, it's all right. Didn't it break and explode? Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit. So we're running short. Eagerly waiting. We got a med kit. One... Our supplies did not include a working radio. The problem was we weren't able to find one in the dropped crates. Eventually, we encountered a box full of toasters. We spent some time tinkering with them using trial and error and ended up with a radio that occasionally works. We call that a win. Man, Timmy, you are the boss. Timmy's the boss. Man, he brought a lot of stuff if you look at it. That's, that's a really good run. Anyway, he should eat something. He felt sick and he's really tired. He wants water. Ted wants water and food. Okay. Food for him. Food for him. And we're gonna heal Timmy. Because, let's be honest, that was amazing. That's an amazing run. I'm gonna send to Lars now. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. Yes, yes. Well, Lady Luck... is on a good mood today. She, she has a good mood. She's uh, doing well. That was close. The nest of those glowing bugs might have been worse. Okay, Timmy should eat something. Yeah, that's that's fine. Water. Yeah, he doesn't... Well, I don't know about Timmy and his water needs, though. That's the first day I hear about him, wa about the water. All right, Dolores food. Timmy food. And Ted water tomorrow. So those guys get food. And we're going to do tomorrow tomorrow. Yeah, right, water tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to give her water because she's going outside now. So... I can give her anything tomorrow. Wonderful! Timmy's healed up. I mean, he brought his own med kit. He's very hungry, in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. I agree. Water for everyone and food for Timmy. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get better. All right. I will use the ammunition. I will waste the ammunition to rub it all over us, to avoid the stench. Something along those lines. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. Yes, we just rubbed gunpowder all over us. Still don't know if that's a thing. Timmy's very hungry, Ted is not, oh man, he needs a whole soup can. Shine your boots, I mean, he was out quite some time. Shine your boots and hoist a flag, the army's on the radio. I don't have a flashlight, no, no, not good. <sighs> Can we shave you, Ted? I'm pretty sure we can shave you. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? I haven't read that a million times. Okay, nothing new to report. I hope she's gonna come back. All right, our family has been stuck down here for a while, and we're very worried this might be an adverse effect on Timmy's education. Can't even read anymore. Up there, he at least consumed a comic book or two a week. Now there's nothing. We need to give him something to read. Why Scout book? Bam. Prepare him for, I don't know, a raccoon attack. I don't know what's written in them. Like how to make a fire, how to deal with hypothermia. Useful things. I've never been a boy scout. I don't intend to become one. I would make a horrible boy scout. The only book we had with us was the scout handbook, but it's more than enough to get Timmy reading. Perfect. All right, they want water. We're gonna give that to them on the day 20. And we're gonna listen to the radio. You're a good boy, Timmy. Brought us a radio. Awesome boy. Let's hope Dolores comes back. Otherwise, there's gonna be some dad-son bonding moment. Uh, weak signal, signal, terrible shape. Uh, needs water now. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. God, I would be such a bad mood if I had to ration that badly. Oh, she's back. Perfect. And sick, of course. Ooh, look at what she brought. All those fun things. Good. We played true for dare when it turned out we only kept asking qu Yes, we had that already. 
pretty boring there. We used to go to this little store for groceries. They always had their windows closed and a sign that stated, We assure you, we're open. We found some food left inside. Most food on the shelves was outdated and rotten. A lot of eggs were smashed. Guess what? Soup cans don't expire until 2015. Good for us. Plus four cans of soup. Ooh, yeah. We found a shelf of a big sign that read everything for 99 cents. The only thing left were bottles of water. Ha, expensive. And the restroom with a med kit and a gas mask. Mmm. Fantastic. Okay, she needs food. And is sick. And Ted is hungry. You know what? Everyone gets everything. We have a lot of food and water left now. She did an amazing job there. And we're gonna cure her. Had some good runs. Surprisingly good runs. I could send out Ted. Like, on top of everything, just send him out. The more we know about what's going on, the better for us. Let's gather the radio, yes. Let's gather information from the radio. Okay. Once we had waited through the static refund and transmission that was hosted by some not talking about conspiracies and saw some men from Mars abducting people. It was pretty amusing. I bet. Sorry, moving my microphone here a little bit. Timmy is rested. Dolores would really love to eat something cured from her sickness. Nothing going on with Ted. Okay, here. Have all the food and Ted should go outside. Wait, did I plan an expedition right now? Or was this... Ah, we'll see. He'll come back or he won't. Good idea to bring anyone out. Uh, Dolores would like to eat here. Yeah, I mean, she's been out for some time too. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Yes, do that. Use the axe. Well, we're... Oh, she's injured. Damn it. She's hurt and hungry and thirsty and everything. What the hell? We barely made it out of life. Ah, oh, it's the alligator. I should really stop checking out what's below us. All right, she wants water, she wants food. Here's more food. She's hurt, damn it. Well, if Ted comes back and he doesn't, isn't sick, we can... We can heal her. What I really hope for. That would be amazing. Luckily. I would be amazingly lucky. That's what I wanted to say. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I think tomorrow should be fine. Did her chime change a little bit? If she's dead now, I know. Nope, she's good. It's actually really easy if you to go every fifth day. It really helps a lot. Okay, here's water. Yeah, they just want water, so that's good. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our shelter theater group. And why, why not, why not a musical? Why not shelter musical group? Sounds much better. I hope that doesn't get infected. All right, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. Silent Hill. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. So what did you do then? Okay, so does anyone want food? No, good mood. Timmy's on his best behavior. That's surprising. They're in good mood. Timmy's not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Yes, let's talk to Timmy. That's, that's a really good idea, actually. And Ted is back. And he's just tired. He's not sick. Huh. What did he bring? Ted. Okay, Timmy's mood seems better. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Some additional supplies would be a great deal, but we didn't get anything from this expedition. Oh, really, Ted? Man, thank you, Ted, for breaking your gas mask and not bringing anything. You should have taken your son as an example. He did great. <sighs> great. Great job. Anyway, Timmy and him are hungry. And, yeah. We're gonna prepare for an expedition with Timmy tomorrow. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world for us. We thought it would be a good idea to make it, and something is crawling at us in the darkness. Let's shoot it! Always a good idea. Shoot first, ask questions about what kind of animal it is later. Quick shoot was more than enough to scare it away. Okay, so water time is soon. Ted is hungry. Let's give him some hunger things and food and water for Timmy because he's going outside. Maybe he's gonna be lucky and he goes to some cool place like there. I don't know what's on this map. All right, he went out to the wasteland. We don't know if he'll ever come back. How could we? Dolores has not eaten for a while and she so won't survive. Yeah, I think another day. Another day will be fine. 
Laura says, not been very talkative. Yes, chat with her and ask what's wrong. Hey, honey, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay. <sighs> it's nothing. I'm fine. Talking to Laura's helped resolve some of her issues in doubt. She feels better now. She has not eaten for a while and she won't survive. Okay, they're both hungry and thirsty. We've got plenty of food and water here. No need to be super stingy. And still no flashlight to signal the military. Man, getting this to day 70. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, the signal has to wait. So do they even know? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, still food for the Loras. Man, she's so hungry. You so hungry, girl. She doesn't look like she would eat that much. Mm, maybe it's the sickness. Anyway, we played Ice Spy. Dolores is fine and well. And Ted is doing well too. That's what I like to see. The first aid kit is useless. Oh, yes. Let's use the bug spray to make a med kit. Hopefully, that's gonna work and we're not just gonna lose this. Because Timmy. Hey, Timmy isn't even sick. She is sick though. Look at how her skin has exactly the same color as her shirt. Can't be a good sign. What do you know? Combining American innovation and deadly box spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish any empty first aid kit. Okay, so Timmy's back. He brought us back two bottles of water. Uh, the PE teacher, he brought us a gas mask. Oh, good. He's hungry. He can have it. And no water for anyone. And we're gonna heal her mother. Yeah, we're not gonna send anyone out. That would be silly. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. Let's do something with the boy's scout book. Close it off. That usually works very well. Just cram it into the holes. That'll be fine. Problem solved. No leak. No mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Okay, Timmy should eat. Yes. And water. I'm gonna give him water tomorrow. I think that's fine. Dolores wounds were patched up. Was cured from male illness. Water, water, water. Yes, tomorrow. Yeah, I can't send anyone out. Let's listen to the radio and hope that the military has something for us. Some good news. I wonder what the chances are in general. You know, there, there must be some sort of chance calculation when the military will come and in which time frame. I, I really would love to know that. Good. Oh, some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she lost. We got two water, one soup, one ammunition. All right, Timmy's hungry and wants water, water, and water. You can have everything. Perfect. Uh, can't send anyone out anyway, so I think we're just gonna spend a few days. Just gonna skip through them rather quickly. Hmm. Nobody's sick, nobody's crazy. I will absolutely take that. Uh, wait. Was someone hungry? Nope. 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 We can just skip through the day. We took some time examining our map and found it had abnormal symbols scribbled upon it. Yeah, we don't have anyone who's currently quite ready to go out now. Look at that magnificent beard, Ted. Who has a magnificent beard? You have a magnificent beard. Child drawings. Timmy seems okay. Today was relatively calm. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted. Have a soup. Um, Ted is happy to risk his life. Well, okay, Ted. We're gonna send you tomorrow. Maybe this time you're gonna bring more than nothing. Like the first time you went out and miserably failed. Good job, Ted. Good job. Alright, the signal has to wait. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Not eaten. Okay, so. Give some food. And, oh wait, does she, was it food? Yes. And uh, water and food for Ted because he's gonna be out for a bit. All right, Ted should go outside. Oh, should have put the dot somewhere else, I believe. I don't know if it does anything, but would be interesting if it did. Timmy's in terrible shape. Yes, yes, you can be fine. You, you'll, you'll be fine without water. After Laura's return from her last expedition, she was complaining of a mood, minor foot injury. Uh. We could ruin an axe. And injure her or she might get sick um I'll try my best with disinfecting her wound by heating up the axe how do we heat that up by the way oh she's not hurt if there was one thing we could never consider it would be cutting off any part of Dolores um, 
We did use the heated axe blade to clean her wounds and the infection seems to be fading away. The operation wasn't pretty though and we damaged our axe. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape and wants water. Sure. Here, water for everyone and food for you. Alert, there's a gang of firefighters outside. Ooh, no, let's use our rifle. And hopefully Ted doesn't run into them. That would be bad. That would be really bad. And we lost our rifle and we don't have an axe. Oh, Lady Luck, why are you doing this to me? It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is what happens if the rifle malfunctions or if we use all of our ammo. Oh, damn it, we spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do now? Well, we die. We can't defend ourselves. Timmy's very brave. Maybe Ted is gonna bring a rifle. That would be the biggest break in a while. That would be a really big break. Let's just hope they don't try to attack again. They don't that they don't know that my gun is broken. If we can fake it, that's fine. Uh, like this man on the other side, knocking, claiming he'd be willing a lot for the decent ammunition. Yes, I'll gladly trade my ammunition because I have a broken rifle or gun. So unless you have a gun, <sighs> a can of soup. In return, he offered us rations, but it wasn't much. But something is always better than nothing. All right, he should drink. And uh, she should drink. Ah, two more days. Fine. Oh, we can't... What? Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to be... He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and gambler. Nope. No gambling. I don't have cards. We could play checkers, but that's not pretty gambling, is it? Uh-oh, I think he's going crazy. No, just fatigued. All good. Not yet. Now, does anyone want food? Yes, Dolores wants some food. Here you go. Ted still isn't back. He seems to be on a longer run. Meaning he could potentially bring back a lot of stars. No. Not really. Not too much, at least. The nuke did most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves. Another nearby gas station blew up as well. All was left was a place that was... Oh, off the place was a crippled cashier's booth and the remains of several cars. Uh, someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill and a quick getaway. They thought wrong. It was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company on its site. Europe, the soup can company. One can of soup and one can of bottle, one bottle of water. And the gas mask was damaged. Great job, Ted. Great job. Timmy's still in the lead here. Timmy's still in the lead. Okay, it's time for, time for water. And he's hungry. I uh, wish I had a med kit. Well, that's just what happens. We're gonna send Timmy out. Timmy can do this tomorrow. He, he, he needs to do this tomorrow. We need a rifle. Without a rifle, we're really in a lot of pro We're in a world of pain when we get attacked. Timmy's hungry, relatively calm. Ted's stumbling is rumbling. Stumbling is rumbling, yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super tired. It's super late. I need to make a video for you guys because I love you. You're awesome. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, day 46. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Uh, Timmy goes out. Timmy goes out. And hopefully it's going to be as successful as last time. If not, it eh, happens one less mouth to feed. Okay, Timmy went to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Today's been a fine day for Dolores and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Come on, Ted. How much do I need to feed you? That gas mix gas mask of ours is probably worthless. Ooh, we could repair it. One day too late. What are you doing all these days, by the way? I mean, you have a Boy Scout book uh, and could repair that when you're doing nothing. <sighs> Guys. Anyway, we got a gas mask. Water, water. Not today. And Ted, what did you do out there? Why do you need so much food? Ooh, can we fix the rifle as well? This book is mind-blowingly helpful. We repaired the rifle with a Boyd Scout book. With the help of the scouting handbook, we were able to get the rifle into working condition. We even ended up with some spare parts. Everything would have been okay if it wasn't for the last bullet stuck in the barrel, or of course, it fired right into someone's leg. Well, that's bad. Okay, uh, no water right now. Ted was hurt. Well, Ted was already being sick, so now he shot himself and is sick. I would absolutely use a med kit on you if we had one. Maybe Timmy will save your life. Maybe. 
It's hard not to worry, considering our current situation. Especially Ted. Especially Ted. Time for water. And Lars get some food. Mm. When are we planning to do anything about those injuries? They aren't getting better and they might get much worse soon. What happens to Ted then? He's probably gonna die. He's already shaking. Due to the length of this episode, I decided to cut this one down into two parts. So we're gonna continue tomorrow in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button. He likes it.